Welcome to my lecture online. In organic chemistry, nomenclature is really important. Keeping track of all the various names of all the molecules, of course, gets quite difficult. And sometimes we use names interchangeably. So what do we mean when we talk about a functional group and what do we mean by a compound? Well, essentially a compound is a molecule, a molecule that contains functional groups attached to carbon chains, organic molecules. So what we want to do here is take a look at the difference. Notice here are what we call alcohols, aldehydes, ketones, and they contain what we call functional groups. Now the functional group for an alcohol is the hydroxyl ion, OH. So that becomes the functional group of what makes alcohols. We have the acyl group, we have the carbonyl group. Now notice the carbonyl group will form what we call a ketone because a ketone is where we have an oxygen double bonded to a carbon where carbon is part of a chain and so forth. So seeing the difference between what we name what we call functional groups versus what we call compounds or molecules does make a difference. You'll see that these names appear a lot in the molecules that they form. For example, we know what amino acids are, and so they have what we call the amino groups, and that is where the name comes from. So also we'll use sulfhydryl, which will form thiols, and notice we have what we call the phosphate group and the phosphory group, and notice that also those names will appear in the compounds that they form. So in the next video, we'll show you some examples of various compounds where you begin to recognize these groups. And so notice that the functional groups will then uh, give you some indication of the names that they'll be used for. So stay tuned and we'll show you now examples of how the functional groups make up the names of the group of the compounds or the molecules that they form. So we'll show you how to do that.